Why do childhood memories disappear? When I watched your videos, I realized, I don't remember my childhood. I have no memories at all. You're not alone in this. This is a life-saving function of the subconsciousness, which simply blocks certain periods of your life from you and stops nourishing them emotionally. And why does that happen? Well, because, you know, emotions are not infinite. Your astral body contains too many blocked memories from other periods of your life, not from your childhood. I'll draw it schematically. Here is our astral body. Here is the blocked area. And here, and here. And the rest of the space is filled with free energy. Here is the mental body, our short-term memory. Here is the causal body, our long-term memory. The astral body wants to take energy and it takes it from the space filled with free energy. And the memories will be awakened for such a period of time as long as there is enough of that energy. The memories will be awakened gradually from today, as long as there is free energy. But in your case there is not enough energy to awaken the memories of an earlier period. Am I making myself clear? There is no energy for childhood memories, the memory is there but you can't restore it as an operational memory because you simply don't have enough energy to do it. And the subconsciousness says, you know what, we awaken memories according to their importance. What is the point of your childhood memories when we have to remember what happened yesterday and the day before yesterday? That is more important for us. I can't remember what happened yesterday either. Does that mean I have no energy at all? It means that there simply weren't any events to remember. Because you should only remember events that are important in terms of consciousness. And you do remember what is important in terms of consciousness, in terms of the structure of consciousness that you have at the moment. Your life would be different if your consciousness were free. But that's the way it is. Your consciousness is rigid. Accordingly, the memories that are awakened in consciousness are necessary and sufficient for the existence of the worldview that you have at the moment. And all other memories are simply blocked as unnecessary because they evoke unwanted emotions. For example, is it appropriate for a serious woman to experience sexual liberation? But the whole point is that you have definitely had these kinds of experiences in your life, you have had very bright and very beautiful romances. It's just that your consciousness, in order for your worldview to exist in an unchanging form, says, these memories are inappropriate. So they should be blocked. And the fact that you've forgotten those memories is a paradox. After all, it's your life, it's your chronicle that you've written, and the important pages are just filled with ink. No, 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 it didn't happen. It didn't really happen to me. But we're going to reveal those experiences and the memories will come back. Do I have to recover all my memories? Yes, you do, but they will emerge by themselves. See how your mental body becomes frightened that it has to recover these memories, but you must remember them. I would like to, but I don't remember them, well, of course, you don't remember them. But when those memories come back you will mark my words and realize that they are not from some romance novel you once read. It was your romance and you wrote it yourself. It happened to you. And to deny emotions such as you have experienced, is to be enslaved by a structure so serious that it not only makes you do what you shouldn't, but also makes you forget what belongs to you.